and welcome to another episode of The Overlanding Newbie. This is our 11.3 episode, and really this is all about, again, continuing our uh, introduction into the Gaia app and just sharing some information and, and things that I learned as I started really kind of diving into it. Um, there's an introductory video previous to this. If you haven't seen that, you can kind of get a little bit more information on um, the series I'm going to be doing and then the why I've chose guy already. But in this episode, what I wanted to do was set up a little conversation around the initial setup once you get into Gaia and you and you start an account with them, uh, a little bit of glossary, foundational knowledge. Um, you know, there were some things that, uh, that I wasn't sure what they exactly meant and had to Google those. So I figure I'll save you the trouble and tell you a little bit about that myself. Um, and then we'll also talk about navigating with, within the site and organization within uh, within the app and within the site, kind of setting up folders and things like that that I think is gonna make long-term usage as you continue to plan routes and things of that nature that much easier. So with that said, let's take a look um, uh, and I'll do some screen share video uh, here with you right now and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Thanks. All right, so let's take a look at navigating around the Gaia GPS. Um, website in this case. Um, I do most of my work on the web. Great thing again is a transfer. Anything you do on the web transfers to the app. Anything you do on the app transfers back over to the web. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in here. If you're if you're new and you want to sign up, this is the link right down here. So once we get in, um, I will show you here just some just some quick uh, quick information about kind of navigating around. So first and foremost, it's going to kind of bring you in and drop you in uh, to Gaia where you last had been navigating around when you were um, when you were working within Gaia when you were last logged in. So over here on the right, you're going to see a menu and this is basically going to have a lot of these quick links for you to be able to access. So real quick from a glossary standpoint, just so you kind of understand what the terminology is that and what they mean within the Gaia world or even just kind of outside and in general overlanding, tracks are going to be recorded uh, trips that you've made. So once you actually go out and uh, record one of your trips and save it within Gaia, it's going to show up as a track. Routes are going to be um, trips or routes that you have planned and laid out a route within the guy app and i'll show you uh i'll show you how to do that uh, keep in mind that a route within gaia is directional so it's going to know where you planned that where you started to plan that route and where you ended that route so oftentimes what i will do is a route to and a return route from so that um, i have two different routes and then if you when you're using the navigation to to guide you it's not trying to turn you around and, and make you go back the other way or something like that so i'll show you that uh, in a later video as well Areas is a, is a way of highlighting a large area within a Gaia map or multiple maps and downloading that. To be honest, I don't use areas pretty much at all yet. Not to say that I won't someday, but, but pretty much not using that. Waypoint. A waypoint is basically dropping a pin on a map. You can attach notes, pictures, you can name it. Um, but it's it's basically gonna gonna show up when you when you have those turned on um, as a uh, a pin on the map, and I'll show you some of those photos. Any of your photos that you're taking within your tracks will will show up on um, on here as well, and they're they're saved. You can click right here, and you can see some of my photos from from a recent mountain biking uh, mountain biking trip. Um, any of your saved hikes will will show up on here that you have any of your saved maps so these are maps that i've downloaded and saved so that i could use offline they are all going to be here within the map section um, map sources when you downloaded those maps you uh you had these layers we're going to talk about layers here in a minute and um from a glossary standpoint a layer is um a map so there are different types of maps that you'll have access to through Gaia and um, you can layer them on top of each other. And I'll show you that uh, in the, in the uh, planning video that I'll do here um, in, a, in a subsequent video. But the, um, the different layers there are sources that you can, you can pull in here. Um, 
And then folders here, I'll show you in a second as well. I think these are super important to start this best practice early. And uh, you can upload maps into Gaia, and I'll show you that in the map, uh, in the route planning video as well when um, working with um, Trails Off-Road is the one that I use the most to bring in their maps, but it has to be compatible formats. But the great thing is, this guy is working with a lot of people there. Um, creating a team is more for a professional um, a professional uh, industry business type of a, of a usage. My profile is basically going to come in here and show you recent activity routes that you've planned. I love the stat piece. Uh, obviously, you can see there's I'm still really new and using it, but I love to, to be able to um, to see kind of all my activity. You can filter it by activities uh, types and um and just kind of look at those if you want to drill down that way and then um the uh last thing i was going to show you on here is subscriptions so um when you are um, looking at a subscription um you'll see here your your actual renewal date and what the cost of that uh, of that subscription is uh going on there so um Let's pop over if we if we go over to here to explore the map back to kind of where we started. Um, you'll see this side left menu. This is really where I spend most of my time. So to start, when you start looking at your map, you've got these overlays that you can turn on or off. So if you don't want to see any of your previous waypoints that you've put on there, you can turn them off, turn them on. Um, you can see the waypoints, but you can turn off the labels. Um, so you can actually see that with uh, without the name attached. It makes it a little less noisy if you're if you're going that way. If you want to, um, again, just kind of clean up the map in the area that you're looking at. You don't want those routes that uh, you've previously planned on there. You can click that and take it off. So if you see here, the green route uh, goes away, and you can actually see the type of trail on the map underneath it when you uh, when you turn the routes off. Tracks is going to do the same thing. So if you've got recorded tracks showing up on your map, you can turn those off if you don't want to see any of your previous activities uh, through those uh, tracks that you've recorded. Um, any areas that you've uh, identified and and um, and selected and saved, you can turn those on or off. Public tracks. This is a um, basically what it means by public tracks is anytime you do a track and you've saved it into Gaia, you can turn that on for public access and you can show that and share that with other users within Gaia or just your friends. So that's actually a setting um, you can do in your account, um, in your profile, um, where you go to edit profile, you can um, do it right. Uh, here you can do, you can show what's shareable and what's public um, and or in when you're saving the actual routes or tracks, um, you can indicate whether or not it's for public view or not. Um, I do use this from time to time. Most of the time I keep it turned off, but I'll show you in my planning video where I do end up turning that on. Um, anything that you've saved from a from a trail or a hiking standpoint, you can uh, turn on or off here. And then the grid overlay is really just for longitude and latitude, and I end up rarely using that piece. So um, lastly, let's just kind of take a look at, we talked about layers. Layers is the type of maps that you uh, will layer in. So that's what that terminology means. The saved items is going to be what you have saved. So routes, tracks, waypoints, things like that. So this is the area where I think it's super important uh, very early on to create folders to start navigating um, your, or just the kind of organizing your um, your different areas that you're exploring and routes that you're saving and things like that. So for instance, this is one that I probably should have saved into a folder. So let me show you how, um, how you do that. You can actually, um, Take this and you can go move the folder. And then um, I wanna see more folders. And I know what I've chosen to do is just save these by the National Forest. You can save it by any any name you want. You're gonna create those. Um, in fact, what I'll do here is I'll show you when you're in the saved items, 
you can go to create a new item, you can create a new waypoint, you can create a new route, a new area, or a new folder. So when you create this new folder, then you save it as a name that you would like to save it as. And, um, and then what you can do is as you create tracks, as you create routes, as you create waypoints, you can save them inside a folder. So um, this is my San Estelas National Forest folder, and you can see I've got waypoints, I've got routes, um, don't have any tracks yet. Uh, it's pretty much all just waypoints and routes right now. And then as you come over here, I can show you that if I turn off all the waypoints, they go away. If I turn off the waypoint labels, the names of them go away. So it's all about kind of how clean you want to have the map looking when you're when you're on there. If I take away the routes, there go the the routes that I had uh, had planned and and saved. Um, there won't be any tracks here. There won't be any areas, and there won't be saved. And then if I turn on public trails, you can see these additional trails that show up, or these additional tracks that show up. These are previous people's tracks. And uh, again, I'll show you that when we uh, when we do a little bit of the, the planning. Um, lastly, I was going to show you here is that you can change from metric measurements to imperial or imperial to metrics. You can work on uh, the coordinate formatting when you're um, when you're looking at latitude and longitude directions. And then again, here you can create these new. Um, new waypoints, routes, areas, all within here, or import maps and things of that nature, if you would like to. So that is really um, getting around in the Gaia web-based um, usage. So uh, here next, I'm gonna show you uh, a lot about layers in my next video, some of my favorites that I use, and um, kind of a little bit more information about reading um, and resources that are uh, around some of those layers. So uh, check that out and uh, thanks for coming along for the ride.